So uh, just like the difference of two squares, uh, whenever we have um, something in a different form which is called a perfect square we can use uh, shortcut formulas as well. So what I mean by that is when you see something in the form of a plus b squared uh, let's just quickly have a look at the rule first. So um, I'm just going to do it in a different colour. So a plus b squared that implies that this is a plus b squared uh, sorry <laughs> same thing a plus b a plus b and so if we use FOIL, once again, what we get is we say this is a squared plus ab plus ab plus b squared. And so what we end up getting is a squared plus ab plus ab, that's 2ab uh, plus b squared. So that's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So the two red um, things, that is the shortcut formula. Likewise, when you have something like um, a minus b squared, that's the same as saying a minus b, a minus b. That just implies that there's two of the brackets of the same if you have the squared term there. So what we end up getting is if we uh, use FOIL, is that this becomes a squared minus b a minus ba plus b squared and you can see that when uh, minus ba minus ba that actually becomes a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So that is the rule with perfect squares that um, when you have a plus b it turns into that if you have a, a minus b it turns into that. So let's look at this in the particular case of um, an example. So if you have uh, x plus 5, and you put that in squared terms, uh, what this becomes is that we have to distinguish what is our a value. Our a value is x, and our b value is 5. So um, we remember that a plus b squared, if we remember the rule for that, that just becomes a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So uh, without even having to expand this, we can write this as, so we're going to drag this all the way down here, so this becomes x squared plus 2x times 5 plus 5 squared. And that's the same as saying x squared plus 10x plus 25. So that's done without even expanding the brackets as I've done up above in blue. You can you can still always do whatever's in blue, however um, it's just a good thing to have, when, especially when equations get a lot larger than um, what you'd expect. So let's do the next uh, question. I'll do it in green, just so you can distinguish it. This is going to be A and this is going to be B. Now which which uh, rule are we going to use? You can see that the sign here is a minus, so we need to use the minus uh, perfect squares rule. So this becomes, uh, well, let's just write out the rule first. a minus b squared, that's the same as saying a squared minus, uh, minus 2ab, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, and what we end up having is um, if we drag this all the way down here, so our um, a value is x and our b value is uh, 6, so a equals x and b equals 6. So a is x squared minus 2 times whatever a is, so that a is x, times that with 6 uh, plus 6 squared, and that's the same as saying x squared minus 12x plus 36, as you can see. Now let's look at the last example. Uh, the last example I'll do in red. Um, once again, it's a plus, so since we've got a plus, we use the rule a plus b squared, and that's the same as saying a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So what is our a value in this case? Our a value is 3x, 
and our B value is eight. So we just need to substitute into this thing right here. So what we end up having is three X, need to make sure you put that in brackets though, uh, plus two times three X times eight plus B squared, which is eight squared. Now keep in mind, um, the reason why I've put this in brackets this time is because uh, this is not just like all the previous questions. You can see with the previous questions, I've just had an X value, I've just had an X value. For this one, we have a three X, so you need to be careful with um, that case. So if we expand this now, what we end up getting is nine x squared plus two times three x is six uh, x times eight uh, times eight is forty eight x plus sixty four in this case, and so you can see here how that's um, come to just by using the rule a plus b a minus b. Yet again, just to clarify, you can use whatever's in blue. It's just a shortcut way of. Um, doing things, as soon as you get the hang of it, you can start implementing it um, a lot more efficiently. So next we're going to look at how to actually factorize using the uh, perfect square rule.